So let's see how we can host our Discord bot in Heroku instead of running it locally on our computer. Now this also works for the script I made about webhooks, so have that in mind. Now the first thing I want to show you is pricing. Again, like I said, it's free, but you get only 550 hours per month. And that's bad because that's not a full month. Your script cannot run 24-7 for a full month. It will have to shut down for the last few days. But if you get 1000 Dino hours per month, then you'll be able to run it 24-7, 365 days. Now to activate the 1000 Dino hours, you need to add a credit card. But if you add a credit card, that doesn't mean they will charge you. While you are in the free plan, they will not charge you anything because it's free. So the first thing we would like to do is click right here, sign up or click the link down in the description, which will redirect you to this page. And you have to enter your details, click I'm not a robot and create a free account. Then once you do that, go ahead and log in. Now, once you sign up, visit this page if you aren't already there. So slash apps and then click right here, which says new and we will create a new app. Now give it whatever name you like and here you can choose your region. So choose whatever is closer to your server. Now usually it's United States, but if it's on Europe, then choose Europe. So I'll, I'll choose Europe and I'll create an app. Now, as you see here, we have three options. So either Heroku Git, GitHub or Container Registry. Now I'll show you how you can do it with Heroku Git. So first of all, download and install the Heroku CLI. I'll leave the link for that also in the description. So click it, scroll down and use any of the methods that works for you, either Mac OS, Windows or anything else. Now I have Windows and I have a 64-bit, so I'll do 64-bit installer. So after you click on it, just click the installer. So I'll click next, install. This will take some time, so just leave it running. And there we go. So now I will click close and that's it. So now click and open your folder, click right here and type CMD or basically open a terminal in your folder. And here we'll basically follow these steps with few adjustments. So first we will do Heroku login. That's basically so you can log in through the terminal on Heroku. Now press any key besides Q of course, and then click login. So it will open a window and then click login and that's it. Let's go back and first of all, we'll run git init. Now, if you know a few things about GitHub or basically how git works, then you'll understand what this does. But those commands basically push the code on Heroku. I will also show you how you can push updates. So every time you make an update on your script, how you can push that in Heroku. So push the new code on Heroku. So next we will run this one right here. So git init basically creates a .git folder, which has some information about git. Then with Heroku git remote, we are making a connection from our code to Heroku, to this Heroku application. Next we'll run git add dot commit and then git push Heroku master. Now let me show you what you will do every time you make a change. Now this is not finished by the way, so this will take some time. But every time you make a change, you'll basically repeat those commands right here. So you will run git add dot git commit. And then here you can pass a random message. So what the changes are about, but, or you can just copy the same exact command and then git push will push the changes and that's it. So every time you make a change, just copy those commands, of course, without the dollar. So there we go. The code is pushed, but we have to add something on our code. So let's go back. Let's open our code in Visual Studio Code by typing code dot. And we need to add something called proc file. So click to add a new file and name it proc file. And as Heroku says, we have to specify a process type and the command. So in order for our script to run, we have to make a, something called a worker. So we will do a worker and we will define what the worker should do. So we will tell our worker to run our script, how we usually run it locally. So node and then the file name index.js. We are doing that because otherwise Heroku thinks this is a web application and it runs this application differently. 
So in order to run it correctly, we are doing this right here. Now, like I showed you, we will again copy those three commands to push the new file. So let's go ahead and do that. So we will repeat git add dot, git commit, and then git push. Now, currently, as you see, our bot is offline, but when the push finishes, we should see our bot online. So let's wait. And it says it's online, but on Discord, I don't see the bot online yet. So what we have to do is go back on the resources. And as you see right here, the web npm start is enabled. So what we have to do is disable that. So we will do edit and then we'll disable it and click confirm. And we will edit the worker one and we will enable this one instead and click confirm. And that's it. So now we probably have to redeploy our code or no, we don't have to do that. So as you see, a few seconds and our bot is currently running. So let's try some commands we have made. So let's do stats and it says you are not an admin and that's because I have to add a role, which is the admin role. And if we run the same command again, this server has three members. So as you see, the bot is currently running. So that's how you can deploy it with Heroku CLI. So currently we cannot use GitHub. So whenever I try to click connect to GitHub, it will not allow me. And that's because there is currently an issue with GitHub and it says it has this error right here. So it says items could not be retrieved internal server error. So if you have that issue as well, then just go ahead and use the Heroku CLI. But usually when this works, what you will do is first of all, connect to GitHub, then it will let you select your repository. So select your repository, then make sure you have this proc file, which I showed you how you can create on Heroku CLI. So that's it, you did it. You just deployed your Node.js script in Heroku for free. But what's next? Well, I have created a series in web scrapping in Node.js and you can use your current knowledge with this Discord bot. And with the combination of this video, you can make a script which scrapes information from the web and report that information to your server automatically. So don't wait any further. Click on that video and see you in a bit.